based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. Remember, remember that these things are true, for the Lord God has spoken it. And again, my people, I have somewhat more to speak unto you. For behold, I have things to tell you concerning that which is to come. And the things which I shall tell you are made known unto me by an angel from God. And he said unto me, Awake, and hear the words which I shall tell thee. For behold, the time cometh and is not far distant that the Lord omnipotent shall come down from heaven among the children of men and shall dwell in a tabernacle of clay and shall go forth amongst men working mighty miracles such as healing the sick, raising the dead, causing the lame to walk, the blind to receive their sight and the deaf to hear. And lo, he shall suffer temptations and pain of body, even more than man can suffer, except it be unto death. For behold, blood cometh from every pore. So great shall be his anguish for the wickedness and the abominations of his people. And he shall be called Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Father of heaven and earth, the creator of all things from the beginning. And his mother shall be called Mary. He cometh unto his own, that salvation might come unto the children of men, even through faith on his name. And even after all this, they shall consider him a man and say that he hath a devil and shall scourge him and shall crucify him. Whosoever should believe that Christ should come, the same might receive remission of their sins and rejoice with exceedingly great joy, even as though he had already come among them. And there shall be no other name given, nor any other way nor means, whereby salvation can come unto the children of men, only in and through the name of Christ, the Lord Omnipotent. For the natural man is an enemy to God and has been from the fall of Adam and will be forever and ever unless he yields to the enticings of the Holy Spirit and putteth off the natural man and becometh a saint through the atonement of Christ the Lord and becometh as a child submissive, meek, humble, patient, full of love, willing to submit to all things which the Lord seeth fit to inflict upon him, even as a child doth submit to his father. And now I have spoken the words which the Lord God hath commanded me, and they shall stand as a bright testimony against this people at the judgment day whereof they shall be judged, every man, according to his works, whether they be good or whether they be evil. Thus hath the Lord commanded me. Amen.
We ask thee for forgiveness of our sins. For we believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Forgive us of our sins and accept our offering. And apply the atoning blood of Christ. We desire to enter thy covenant. That we may receive forgiveness of our sins. 